different shapes and sizes, different colors, and some you can't all really eat. Caleb is describing the types of pumpkins he saw here at Buckshedham Road Elementary, where the second grade spent the whole day learning about this amazing fruit. My first year I started, I decided that it would be exciting to do a whole pumpkin day. At first I just thought of math, so I contacted the math, our math coach, and then it took off from there and we decided we would make it the whole day. Over here on the left hand side, number of different designs. You do not have to use one of the stencils that are on the table. You can use that as a start and then you can add to it. The kids are exposed to having to work with pumpkins in uh, visual arts, math, science, language arts. So it's a full day worth of activities um, across curriculum. How else would you describe the inside of a pumpkin? Sebastian? Um, yucky, um, stuff in it. Okay, so yucky. Pumpkin day is something that they can relate to. The pumpkins are something they can touch and feel. It represents, you know, this time of year to them, especially Halloween, things that they get excited about. The top part off, that's called a what? What is that called? A tick. No, something else, something else. A lid. A lid. Our pumpkin has a lid. Today we had Donna from the 4-H program for our county come in and she plays a bingo game with the kids and gives them lots of terms that they've heard about pumpkins but couldn't identify on a specific part of the pumpkin. This is the outside of the pumpkin that we see. The orange part of the, the pumpkin is called this. We can learn what they taste like, what they taste like, look like, feel like. How many seeds do we have inside this large pumpkin? Well, what I want you to do first, because I see people haven't written it down yet, is on your card, at the top of your card, I want you to write the word estimate. We've already talked about this. Now, our, our math guess is called an estimate, and you have a small, medium, and large pumpkin. Well, the kids get to explore uh, their number sense, their counting skills. Uh, a lot of them are grouping uh, the seeds in a variety of ways. So that's, that's exploring number sense. And of course, we've estimated. So they had to take a, a nice educated guess of how many seeds they would think would be in each pumpkin by size. And then now they're really going to prove whether or not they, how close their, their estimate was. So they're counting the seeds. And then we're going to graph it and show the comparison. So there's a variety of math involved in this activity. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So we know these are 100, so we're going to put these aside. We had 570 seeds. In our pumpkin, we had, we had four, 487 seeds. Big pumpkins have like a lot than the little pumpkins. I like the big pumpkins because you can um, count them all together. The math component um, is really nice to bring in because some of these concepts are a little bit difficult for second grade. Estimating, um, it's not a concrete number sometimes and it's hard for them to come up with a, a number. So when you're talking about something like a pumpkin and how many seeds, it's it's easier for them to think about that. Girls, girls, said the stepmother. Cinder Hazel couldn't get there if she wanted to. Just look at that cracked broom. I enjoy this day. I look forward to it. I love having fun with the kids outside of our normal routine of every day. They learned, and they didn't even realize they were learning. They were so engaged today. So that was a nice thing to see.